everybody. I'm Yeti Bay Evans. Today I would like to welcome you all to our read along, a special story time with PBS Kids. And today I get to share with you all a special story called Very Itchy Day, one of the I Can Read books in the Molly of Denali series. One of the things I really like about the book is the fact that it reminds me of going berry picking as a child and then passing that tradition on to my own children, having them experience all the bug bites of mosquitoes out there too. So let's dive in. I'm super excited today because my family is going to pick Jack. That means berries in Cochin. We love to eat berries and we like to cook with them too. So we need lots of jack. Ready to go, Mom? Asked my mom. Thanks for watching the store, she says to Tui. Happy to help, Tui says. Don't forget the bug repellent. I grab the repellent off the counter. It will keep mosquitoes from biting us. When we arrive at the river, there are tons of mosquitoes. Let's get on the water, Dad says. It won't be so bad there. We jump in the canoe and start to paddle, but the mosquitoes follow us. Pass the bug repellent, says Dad. Very. Oh, it's so horrible. <coughs> that many mosquitoes chasing you in the woods or down the river. I've come home with so many bites on my arms and legs. I always try to remember my bug repellent. Dad sprays the repellent. That's odd. This smells like dog perfume, he says. That's what you spray on dogs when they roll in something sticky. Oops, I just sprayed my dog Suki with dog perfume this morning. I must have mixed up the bottles on the counter. We head to shore and make a fire. The smoke keeps the mosquitoes from biting us. The problem is we can't hold up if we're stuck by the fire. We really need repellent. My grandmother used to make repellent from plants. But I don't know the recipe, says Mom. Sometimes when I'm out and I have forgotten my bug repellents, I use uh, one of the plants that I found along the way that we're going to see soon in the story. It's called yarrow. Then I think of something. There's a book back at home that might have a recipe. I decided to call two. But first, I have to climb a tree to get phone service. Sometimes a cell phone service when you're out berry picking or hiking in Alaska wilderness is very slim to none and it can be hard to contact people. I asked Tui to find a book. I'll call you when I find a recipe. But here's an idea along the way. I heard that open. Cover the skin and mud to keep bugs off. We decided to try it. We take mud from the river and put it on our arms and faces, but the mosquitoes keep biting us. Time to give up on the berries and head home, says Dad. Mom and I stay by the fire, and Dad can move back to the shop. Mom sees how disappointed I am. We'll try another day, she says. 